All right, so right there. So this is uh, my procedure for conch cholesis lookup for me. I've tried everything, patch grafts, sutures. Basically what we're doing here is we're giving him a little bit of numbing medicine to that conjunctiva, just blowing it up. This procedure seems to work the best. Easily tolerated by patients. have a special little instrument here. It's kind of like a little hockey stick instrument. And basically we go to the excess conjunctiva and then we're just cauterizing. So, this is a little energy cautery. I'm actually gonna try That one's not heating as much as I would like. This one's better. So what we're trying to do is tighten that excess conjunctiva so that when he's blinking, that conj is not flopping over the lid margin and blocking the meibomian glands. So we're just providing a little tightening here to that conjunctiva that I've blown up. And usually the conch cholesis is mid to temporal. So really, unless, unless the patient has problems beyond temporal, I usually go mid pupil uh, and beyond. And again, just little by little, getting that excess conch here. And we're just cauterizing. This puts both that conjunctiva and tenons layer together. And you see it's a very easy procedure in terms of patient tolerance and surgically. Very simple procedure. And like I said, I've tried suturing. I've tried everything else. So you can see that conjunctiva that was big and floppy now has uh, come and tightened in. So one of the things I do is, what I do is try to check and see. So remember how it was all blown up over, but now you can see that it's been tightened. And now when he blinks, blink for me, close your eye. So lid is gonna oppose lid. This is swelling from where I gave him the numbing injection and blink again. But let's see the other side, because I did the other side first. Uh, so you'll have a little bit less swelling and you can kind of see and blink. So you see what we're trying to do is get the lids opposing. Look up for me as high as you can. Again, right there. So that'll leave a scar, but as you can see, it's not a scar that anybody's ever gonna see. And little by little, it's gonna smooth out as he goes through the healing process. So one thing that I do right after is I just give him a little bit of monodine. This is to decrease the constrict the venules so that maybe we'll get a little bit of decrease in that conj overlap. I'm gonna give him a little steroid drop here. And then you've got a choice here. You can either patch. And what I'm gonna do for him is I'm gonna patch this right eye since he still has some swelling of the conjunctiva there. Close your eye for me. We'll patch this eye. And we'll go ahead and let him go. So how was that? Did you tolerate it well? Any problems? No problem. Yeah. You did, you did really well, went great, and great. Yeah. now your video will be on, on YouTube. <laughs>